I'm Vanessa Ruck and welcome to the XL Moto Garage. Today we are going to be looking at the Snell E1 and S7 intercom devices, talking through their key features, what's in the box and then doing an installation guide. In our connective world, having an intercom on your helmet is a really enjoyable feature of motorcycle riding and Snell and XL Moto brand have two intercom options out there on the market. So first of all, you have the E1 unit, which is a slightly more advanced riding in groups sort of intercom. We also then have the S7, which is a little bit more of an entry level model, either for riding on your own or for sharing the experience with a pillion. Now in this video, we're gonna talk through a little bit of an unveiling, opening the box and installation, including the features of what these two different types of intercoms are going to offer you for your riding adventures. First of all, let's look at the E1 model and some of the specifications behind it. So this is designed to be able to have up to four units connected, so four riders, with a 500 meter range. It's fully waterproof to withstand the conditions that you're gonna be facing on a motorcycle. And you have up to 10 hours usable battery time with 15 days on standby. So let's have a look at what is in the box. So we have the intercom unit itself, which is a nice tidy little unit. You've got minimalistic controls, but the controls are big enough that you can feel them and have dexterity when you've got your gloves on and a big dial for adjustments. We have a microphone with cable to plug into it, USB charger, a stick-in microphone. So depending on the helmet that you're using, if you have an open face helmet, you're going to want a boom mic to hold the microphone in front of your voice. If you've got a closed face helmet, then you're going to want a little stick-on microphone that will go on the inside of your full face. And then we have the speakers, which are 40 millimeter speakers on a cable to go inside your helmet next to your ears. Installing an intercom unit does vary a little bit helmet to helmet. I'm going to demonstrate on a coarse full face helmet as an example, and everything that you need to install the installation does come in the boxes. So we've got some 3M sticky pads, which is effectively a Velcro pad that's going to receive the speakers and the microphone. So I'm going to get those in. If you have a little bit of alcohol or lens cleaning wipes, it can be a good idea to use one of those to clean the surface to give a little bit of long, extra longevity. So I'm going to pop those in. Inside, that is going to then take my speaker. So I need one on both sides. And if you're not too sure where to put the speakers, you can always put your helmet on and try and feel where your ears are because if the speakers aren't directly over your ears, you're not going to get the best sound. We then have the intercom bracket mount. This has two options for its installation. So the first option is stickers onto the side of your helmet. Obviously a sticker is easily removable. Depending on the shape of your helmet and whether you're wanting to remove it and put it on different helmets, you could also use the sliding bracket, which will go up under the side of the shell of the helmet and hold the intercom on. Today, I'm going to go for the sticker option as it's going to be the best option on this coarse helmet. So I'm sticking the sticker to the, the mount. When you think about riding along with an intercom on, you're going to be every so often wanting to use your hands to control and adjust the intercom. It does have iOS voice control through the intercom, but as you're riding, you want to think about which hand you want to be using to operate your intercom. I personally prefer to have my left hand free to use the intercom, which enables my throttle hand to maintain consistency for speed. Nice, easy 3M stickers. So that is on the side here. And now I've got to 
get the speakers into the helmet. This is where removable internals are certainly beneficial because I want to get the cables behind the padding. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's not something you're going to be doing regularly. I'm then going to remove the top lining of the helmet and thread the cables across the top of the helmet. It's a very thin cable, so you're unlikely to feel it. Okay, there we go. And then stick that onto the little Velcro that I put in place. And there we have our speakers ready to go. As easy as that. Next is the microphone, because for an intercom, you want to be able to talk to the riders that you are out there with or answer your phone calls. So let's get the mic installed as well. Again, I've got a little sticky pad. You're obviously talking to the microphone, so you're going to want that as near to your mouth as possible. A little bit of Velcro on the mic to stick to that. And then again, I'm going to pop the internal cheeks off and thread that cable in behind and plug it into the base holder of the intercom. I don't want loose cables, so I'm going to poke them in and get rid of the slack. There we go. Okay, so there we have it. If you wanted to, you could potentially put another little sticker over the cables. I don't ever find they're an issue. So there we have the mount. We then have the intercom and it slides on. So your mount stays on the helmet, your intercom can come on and off as you're using it, charging, etc. And that is quite how easy it is to install an intercom onto your motorcycle helmet. So this device is compatible with iOS and Android and fits quite sleekly for an aerodynamic design on your motorcycle helmet with connectability to a group of riders. Battery life is around 10 hours of usage and 15 days of standby. Next up, let's look at the Snell S7. This is a slightly more entry level intercom, so it does have reduced functionality. This is really suitable for a solo rider wanting to have connectivity with their phone, listen to music, hear their navigation through their Android or OS device, or via wire connect and be able to communicate with their pillion. So the intercom is via wire. Let's have a look at what comes in the box. Okay, so we have the unit itself and two speakers that will go into your helmet. We then have the cable to connect you to your pillion for two rider communications. We have a boom mic similar to the other model, USB charging, magic stickers for installation and the user guide. So the S7 will give you around eight hours of usage and 120 hours of standby. Let's get one installed into a helmet. I'm going to use a coarse open face helmet this time, just so that you've got the comparison of installation onto a full face versus an open face. First of all, then we have our little stickers. You do also in both boxes get spacers if you need to add a little space to get the speakers near your ears. So inside the helmet, there is space to take the speakers. I'm gonna stick that in and then the same on the other side. We then have some Velcro to go on the back of the intercom unit. There we go. And a bit of Velcro to go onto the helmet. So again, I'm going to choose to install this on the left hand side. That is then stuck on the side of the helmet. I'm going to remove the padding and get the wires in behind. So this helmet has little poppers. 
get that inside and stick on the first. And then I'm gonna thread the wires through to the other side, stick it onto the Velcro, reseat the liner, and there we go. I'm gonna tuck the wires in so that there is no slack and reconnect the popper on the lining. There we go. Nice and tidy, little wire going in. We then have our boom mic because it is an open face helmet. We're gonna want that in front of our mouth. So got a bit of Velcro to take the boom mic. Now, depending on your helmet, you might need to have a little play as to where is the best place to mount this. I'm thinking for this course helmet to pop it in there. So cheek piece off, remove the sticker. It's always tricky with nails even. There we go. Pop that onto the Velcro, do up the popper. That will then go into the bottom of the intercom. There we go. And again, I can tuck those cables away to make it tidy. Get it in the cheek piece. Do the popper up. So there we have an installed intercom on the helmet ready to go. I'll be able to talk to my pillion with the super stretchy cable that it comes with. I'll be able to listen to my music, have my navigation through my headset and enjoy the benefits of an intercom. The Snell E1 Bluetooth intercom. Features include waterproof, multiple intercom connections with a maximum of four units, 500 meter range. Battery life is around 10 hours of usage with 15 days on standby. You can answer and receive phone calls, listen to music, voice control your iOS device, Bluetooth 4.0, compatible with iOS and Android devices, and all accessories are included in the box. Snell S7 Bluetooth headset. Features include intercom by wire with a cable included. It's waterproof, 40 mil headphone jack. Battery life is around eight hours of usage with 120 hours on standby. 10 meter Bluetooth range. All accessories are included in the box. Bluetooth 4.0. Box contains one S7 device, however also available in a twin pack with two S7 devices. So these are two Snell intercoms that are a XL Moto brand. They're all available on the XL Moto website. I really hope you found this little video interesting, informative. Let us know in the comments whether you're an intercom user and please do stay tuned for more videos here in the XL Moto garage. Thanks for watching.